Howdy everybody. Sure has been a while, hasn't it? Sure has. Anyhow, I'm going to be talking to you all about um, my branch of Christianity. You know, nobody really knows about it because I try to keep under wraps. You know, the church, it don't want people knowing the truth about Jesus because if they knew the truth, then, you know, the whole world will crumble because we're built on the fake Jesus lies. Jesus was not born to Mary. Mm -mm. That was a lie for the church to keep women virgins because if you're a virgin, you might have the Holy Son of God. That is not true. Jesus spawned in a bush. And the reason for his spawning in the bush was because uh, a prostitute, a wench, she, she didn't want to be the prostitute. But, you know, she really wanted to be a berry farmer. She had her light, nice little berry patch in the back of her little prostitute house. And she just loved berries and she wanted to share her berries with the world. But sadly, she could not make a living wage off the berries because back then, they didn't have baskets or any sort of carrying gadgets. They only had pockets. And everybody was wearing jeans, okay? Back in Jerusalem or wherever the hell Jesus took place. They only had jeans. And jean pockets are real compressed. So when she put her berries in the pockets to transport them to the market, they got all squished up. Of course, she wasn't trying to sell jam. She was trying to sell berries. So she was like, oh my god, she broke down crying. She was like, I cannot transport my berries to the market. I ain't got the the pockets for it. Of course, she could hold them in her hands, but that's not enough berries to make money. No, no one could want a handful of berries. They want more. So Jesus spawned and he was like, hey prostitute, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to give you a special gift. She was like, oh who are you? He's like, I'm the son of God. I spawned in this bush right here. She was like, oh my God, you spawned in a bush. That's real cool. She was like, haha, hopefully nobody tries to spawn camp you. I'm not going to try. I'm a prostitute and not an assassin. Anyhow, so Jesus was like, <laughs> and basically he summoned 50 pairs of cargo pants. These are, no one's ever seen cargo pants before this. And they're crazy because they got pockets and they Big pockets, they ain't gonna squish your berries. You got multiple pockets for your berries. And keep in mind, these people were too dumb to make baskets back then, so this was the craziest invention yet. Of course, the bakers, they could carry a bunch of bread in their arms because bread's not gonna fall through the cracks like berries would. Anyhow, he's like, I task you with supplying these to the people who need it most. And so she's like, oh my god, I'll do that. She's thinking, she's like, hmm. You know, perhaps the peanut merchant needs it because how is he going to transport all his peanuts in his hands? They're going to slip right through his fingers. So, you know, she's doing her thing. But then word gets out as she's given the cargo pants to someone she deems fit. A spy from another town sees this. He's like, what are those? Why she got them? I need them for my town. Fucker goes back to his town tells the the damn people in his town about him and they plan something much like the Trojan horse except for not exactly like that at all they get hamsters they got hamsters cause I swear like desert hamsters are a thing and it's like you know I got a hamster he's a Syrian hamster from like Syria or something you know you need desert hamsters anyhow they get all the hamsters <sighs> And they release him into prostitutes' village, and they eat all the fucking bread. Well, that's like all they ate back then. So all the bread's gone. Everyone's starving. There's a great famine. Jesus is like, I'm gonna fucking fight these people with you, prostitute. And they start fighting, but they spread lies. The the other village, they're like, this Jesus guy did not invent these cargo pants, and he's like a terrible person. You know, he he unleash the rodents like we didn't do any of that we just wanted to help the church and the church believed in God you know and they didn't believe that this Jesus hooligan oh no oh my god I forgot the worst part they wore the cargo pants into the village that's the thing they stole them wore them and put the fucking hamsters in the cargo pants pockets then unleashed them 
and then they pinned the blame on Jesus Christ. They were like, he made these as hamster carrying machines, and he's like, you know, we gotta pump the hamsters into the village and cost him. The church is like, oh, that's fucking crazy, you fucking Jesus bitch. They go and they try to kill him, right? And so the prostitute and him are like shooting the beach down. Yeah. Fuck you, church. You're fake church. You don't believe in the real Jesus Christ. He spawned in a bush. How much more holy can it get? He spawned in a motherfucking bush. He didn't come out of a pussy. None of that. He came out of a bush. Obviously, he's God's son. Anyhow. So, they're like shooting the fucking cargo pants dealers and just trying to restore good to the world. Sadly, they crucify Jesus. They do. And I was like, holy shit. That's the real reason they crucified Jesus? Because he made some pants and tried to do good in the world? Yes, that is unfortunately the reason that they freaking crucified him. Anyway, well, he did kill all the stealers, but the church was like, this guy, fuck those things. That's why you'll see people wearing jeans or people wearing cargo pants. They never wear jean cargo pants unless they're heathens. I guess they're not really heathens. They're trying to restore peace between the two. Anyhow, cargo pants. They're just so much more practical, and we wouldn't have them without Jesus. And that Levi Strauss guy, he's a real, real big anti-Jesuser, because he's trying to make all them jeans for us to wear. I'm in fact wearing some Levi's right now, because I can't find my bloody cargo pants. I think the church came in and hit him. Just makes me really upset. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you all, because, you know, it's Jesus, and you know, it's the true word, the true church. Peace out, fuck you, I hate you, you're a fucking cum slut, I hope you die.